Hello everyone, I'm the Viking General and this video is the third and final part of the three part series about matchlock units in Shogun 2. If you haven't watched the other two, I highly recommend watching at least the first one, but probably also the second one, since those are the building blocks for this video. In this part we're going to take a look how the matchlock units fit into a campaign. Let's begin. So, let's immediately address the elephant in the room, the Gunpowder Mastery Art. This art is basically required for all matchlock units, except for the imported matchlock units and most matchlock units from the Ultimo clan. In fact, most of what I'm going to say in this video won't apply to the Ultimo clan at all. Anyway, getting to this art requires a lot of turns, since it's pretty far down in the shooter tree and requiring other costly arts in terms of time. While strategy of defense and heaven and earth are very useful arts, attack by fire and the five elements are not. I've tested this with an other campaign on very hard difficulty where I tried to rush the gunpowder mastery art after getting the most basic requirements and it still took me 64 turns to complete it. And to be frank, that's just not worth it. It will still take me four more turns before the gunsmith building is finished and then two turns to recruit Matchlock Samurai and the Matchlock Ashigaru units, especially for the Oda are nice to have, but at this point I still don't even have fire arrows. However, I basically won the campaign at this stage and Matchlocks aren't going to make any difference for me. Well, hopefully this illustrates that for most players, Matchlock units will simply come too late into your campaign to make any real impact on it, like fire arrows would or unlocking warrior monks. However, all that doesn't take away that magic units are incredibly fun and spectacular to use. So, what can we do to make them more useful? Well, accuracy helps, especially for the Mashup Ashigaru units. But an alternative is to go for the line infantry approach, where you increase the melee attack of a Mashup Samurai by 6 through province boosts. This will bring a unit on par with a Katana Samurai unit's melee attack of 12, which allows them to be both a decent gunner and pretty good in melee. When you know if you want to go for accuracy, melee attack, both, or maybe something else, you want to make sure you have built the Powder Maker building in the correct provinces, so you can immediately start building the Gunsmith building. I'd recommend building the Arsenal building in a province with accuracy boost to help out potential fire rocket units, which complement matchlock units very well. In conclusion, matchlock units aren't really worth it from a pure strategic perspective. The opportunity cost is too high for the reward you get in return. However, using matchlock units is a very enjoyable experience, so from my am I having fun perspective, it can certainly be worth it if you enjoy using them. Plan ahead, as to minimize the time it takes you to get those units online, and especially with boost, matchlocks can certainly make your army stronger. However, if you really want to play with guns, just play the Ultima clan and laugh at how all of Japan just falls to the might of your Portuguese friends. Thank you for watching.